Hey, I'm Brett. I'm Cindy. We're TN Living. We've been tagged. Well, we've been tagged in a 14 question get to know you better challenge by Arkansas Woodcutter. It, uh, it was a challenge that was originally, originally issued by the Ozark Duke to him, so. He tagged us. He tagged us, so here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what is your name and who named you? Well, I didn't really know, so I called my mama after we got tagged. And my mom was like, well, I don't really know. We just liked the name, so we named you. So my parents just named me. But now Brad's on the other hand. Yeah, my daddy was a uh, Western movie fan, still is. But mm -hmm. My name came down between two choices, he said. <laughs> it's Brett Maverick or Josie Wells. And I am so thankful he chose <laughs> Brett Maverick. And somehow they came up with Brett, so Been... that's how I got Brett. Uh, yeah, number two. Do you have any siblings? I have one. She's seven years older than me. I actually have two. I have an older brother and an older sister who's a, not quite two. See, my brother's not quite two years older than me. My sister's not quite. Well, they're about a year and nine months between me and my brother and a year and nine months between my brother and my sister. So yeah, a little over three years between me and my sister. It's had a year and a half and three years or something to that point. Yeah, something like that. Was I close to my cousins growing up? I really wasn't. Where I lived at, they wasn't many close by. It was a long distance to even go see them. So I really didn't spend much time with family. I, on the other hand, was. Um, my cousins were all around us, and we all hung out and did things. And, of course, a lot of them thought that um, one set of my cousins, we shared the same last name, they all thought we were a lot closer related than we were. We were very distant, Ken, but, because we had the same last name, everybody thought we was like first cousins and stuff. But in my, I mean, I grew up in a small community. I mean, when I was a little, 250 people might've lived there. Yeah. And I was related to over half of them. So yeah, I'm pretty close to most of my relatives. I lived in this little town we're in now, so it's little. All right. Do you have a close relationship with your grandparents? I did on my mother's side. My mother's grand, my mother's parents was very, I was very close to them. I've lost them both, but they was very dear. I learned a lot from them. Probably the reason why I garden now. I was very close to both of my parents' parents. Um, my dad's mom and is the only one I still have. And she's, she runs circles around me. I get, I get so tickled with her. She looks like a teenager and she's in her mid eighties. So I hope I have half that energy if I had to get that out and still have that yeah. much energy going. Uh, the stay at home measure is about to drive her crazy. And my mom's parents, I learned I wish I learned a little bit more on how to sew, bless her heart. My granny tried to teach me and I still can't sew my way out of a wet paper sack with instructions and a hole in it. So <laughs> bless her heart. But now my favorite thing was when I went to her house was, oh, those biscuits. <laughs> oh, my granny made some good biscuits. Yeah. All right, number five. Did I enjoy high school? Did no. you enjoy high school? No, I did not. You did not enjoy high school? I spent half my time in some kind of agricultural or workshop classes. Believe it or not, we I went to- I was ready to get out. We went to high school together. We were actually in the same grade. We didn't start dating until after high school. Did I enjoy high school? Yeah, I actually did. I played softball, so I enjoyed softball. <laughs> I really enjoyed senior year because I had a job and I got to leave at 11.15 every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was only there half a day. I really enjoyed senior year. All right. What are my hobbies? Uh. Well, let's see. Mine at one point was remote control cars and trucks. Then it went to uh, computers. Then I got into electronics. 
Now I'm not really sure what the hub is unless it's, I guess it's changing this place over to being more self-sufficient. I've become <laughs> addicted to finding more things that will grow in this little area. And putting them in place. My hobbies. Oh, uh, hmm. Well, I started out playing sports. Mm -hmm. That was my hobby. And in my adult years, I don't really have one. I mean, I, I do puppets. I enjoyed it. But up in recently... Children's ministry was big for a long time with, oh, yeah. with you and, the, and me. But yeah. It that was, was really your thing. But up recently, I guess my biggest hobby is I like to do woodworking. And I'm finding that I'm enjoying this gardening thing. <laughs> I'm actually having fun with it. And I didn't ever think I would. All right, number six, uh, seven, actually we're up to seven. What do I do to relieve stress? Okay, what's that one? That's a hard one. I mean. With the jobs we got, we're not at a garden right now, which is really stress relieving. <laughs> I guess the biggest thing is we just, we take time to listen to each other. Yeah. You come home and vent about your job and I vent about my job and things is a lot better after that. We watch funny stuff. We don't have television. We don't watch television. We can watch YouTube. We can find you something on YouTube, like a comedian, Christian comedian, or funny songs, or worship songs. Or... I guess one of the things I've started doing, and I don't know why, but I've I've always liked Christian music, and I'm usually more into the more modern Christian music, but. Just because, like he said, we're, we've been off work for a little while. We work at a school. <laughs> and so stress comes with a job. Oh, yeah. And my, recently, the most way I have tried to deal with stress is I zone out <laughs> southern, southern gospel. More the point, Gaither Homecoming. I've been listening to a lot of the Gaither Homecoming songs and videos. <laughs> I have, like, what, about a half dozen or so that I listen to Anytime I'm feeling up, stress. I wind up singing them. Yeah. Whistling them or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoy them. We, I, I love my modern music, but for some reason when I'm stressed, that's my go-to. I go to Gaither Homecoming and relax. And another way we relax also is, you saw it talk about, we talked with each other. We let each other vent. I don't look at him and try to fix it. He don't look at me and try to fix it. We, we just, just let each other Rant and rave, stomp, beat, whatever we have to do to get out the frustrations. And then we just look at the other one. And sometimes we just, when it's all over, we just sit down on the couch and just kind of hug up and be appreciative that we have the other person to do that with. And it's not all on just one of us to do everything. I mean, I think in the last few, few months, years, I don't even know how long it's been. We've gotten a lot closer, and I wouldn't have thought that would have been happen, been able to happen, but we've started working closer together. I guess since we started this gardening adventure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We gotta move on, though. Yeah, we gotta be ready. Who is the longest friend I ever had? Huh. Well, that is kind of a hard one to answer. Yeah. Is it a friend that you talk to all the time? Or a friend you would talk to occasionally? Hmm. I've got, I'm still friends with people I went to kindergarten with, so. Me too, I so. See, I see one or two of them every, every week anyway. I wave at them or talk to them or something every week. Now, I don't see mine as often as he sees his, but I still, we still keep up on Facebook and stuff like that. But now, the longest friend I've ever had that I'm close with, that I make sure I talk to every day, would have to be you. Yep. Because outside of you, most of the friends I talk to every day now, I haven't been friends with for very long. Maybe 10, 15 years. We've been together for 26. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking that was the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been a long time. But, um, but yeah, I mean, 
I still occasionally talk with friends I went to school with. I mean, even back kindergarten. And so, before kindergarten. But yeah, I've, I've got a, well, we've got a neighbor. We'll call her neighbor. She's next road over. But I went to kindergarten with her, played played with her when we was probably a three and four year old. Yeah. So, like I said, talk to every day. No. Be each other. Yeah. It's me and but me. friends, we we've still got friends from when we was in grade school. Small community. It's hard to get away from each other. True. <laughs> All right. Number nine. Favorite movie. That's a hard one. That is a hard one because we... Don't watch movies, really. We don't have TV. We don't watch movies really very often. But I have to say, I guess the one that we don't mind watching repetitively um, would be between Facing the Giants and... What was that? Fireproof? Fireproof was one. Courageous. Courageous we like that one good. One. Yeah, they're the... We have the, th the three on DVD and... Oh, we we got, watch those. We've got The Passion of Christ on DVD, but... I watched it once. We hadn't got that back out. Whew, the seal has not been broke on that DVD. No. <laughs> I watched it in theater, and I just... Oh, my goodness. The reality of it, I just... I can't watch it. I, well, I can, but my heart races. I squall like a baby, and so I don't see most of it. <laughs> and I'm on my knees half the time going... Lord, I'm sorry. You know, I found myself going, I'm not, oh, uh, Lord, uh, mm, oh, yeah. I saw, I haven't been able to watch it a second time no. since. Uh, clips of it and videos and stuff I can handle, but the whole movie itself. It was rough. The reality <laughs> of just what our Savior went through. Whew. But now, when I get into one of my moods, I can watch the Disney movies. Yeah. He don't watch cartoons, but I watch. So, so, I guess that's when I'm missing the kids, because I watch a lot of the cartoons I watch with them, the Disney movies we watch together. Favorite book? Well, that's not hard. I only read one. It's to be the B -I -B -L -E. Bible. <laughs> we only read one, the Bible. Um, at school, I do have to read sometimes other ones, because I know we did one about Dr. Seuss week yeah. and stuff. But as far as having a favorite, favorite book, the Bible's about the only one I really have that I enjoy. And I should read more often because we're behind <coughs> a little bit on our John study. Just look at my hair. Just a little bit. My hair. We got to get back on that. Yeah, we got to get back. All right, number 11. What is my favorite thing to do on stormy days? What is your favorite thing to do on a stormy day? I like watching the weather. <laughs> yeah, he loves watching storms. I got that from my grandfather. Yes. And by the grace of God and his peace that passes all understanding, I don't mind storms as bad as I used to. Mm. I used to fear them. Every time one would come up, I would throw the recliner over my head. I'd turn it upside down and I'd crawl underneath it. And I stand on the porch and watch them. Yeah. Until my children got old enough to realize what I was doing and I couldn't go outside because... They wanted to follow me. Yeah. I'd go out the door to watch the storm. I'd have two youngins behind me. Yep. Which then I got in trouble because I took the kids out in the middle of the storm. Yep. I've slept off that over the years. Now that the kids are pretty well grown, I could go back and do it, but I'm out of the habit, I guess. I just watch it on radar and out the window. We watch the storms. I watch the water flow now. I'm not... I don't fear the storm like I used to. No. And... Usually, I'm just sitting here, storms coming through, we'll be like, Lord be with me. I mean, we pray It's a great sometimes. time to pray. Um, if it's just a rainy day, we will watch you something on YouTube. That's usually when we catch up on our YouTube videos. And we're sitting around talking about what we're going to do when it quits raining. Yeah. Lately. Yeah. You know, what the garden needs, what we need to plant, what we need to transplant. or We make a to-do list so we don't forget. Or, yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. All right, on. number 12. What is my favorite thing to do outside when the weather is good? Work in the yard. Garden. garden. <laughs> Working in the yard in general. Yeah, mm -hmm. just being outside. It's a old house, and the garden needs lots of work. 
we've, we've worked on it for years, but <laughs> it still needs lots of work. And then the, we, uh, we love to sit on the front porch and watch the sunset. Oh, yeah. It's one of our favorite things to do and is watching the sunset. So I guess that's one of the, eh, just the best. Number 13, <laughs> do I prefer the city or small town? Well, I could reword that one. It's not about city. It's do I prefer a small town or middle of nowhere? Because I grew up in a community where you pretty much could roll the side, you know, the streets up and turn off the lights. Because nobody came through in the middle of the night. Your closest neighbor was a mile away. Yes. That was the closest neighbor. Then I married him and I moved to what I considered the city. You heard Jake breaks going on in the middle of the night. I couldn't sleep for the first month when we got married because it was to me a major city, mm -hmm. and we're still a very small town. <laughs> yeah, it's still a very small town. You can turn the lights up and rub the sidewalks up here. Yeah, but no, we prefer the small town. Very, the, very small town. Since the current situation going on, once the store is closed, yeah, it's it's dead here. Oh yeah. I mean, there's no big name brand stores, so. Dollar General. Dollar General is our biggest thing here. So. Pretty much. But That's yeah. the only thing here left, really. Yeah. And everything else is gone. But we, we just prefer the peacefulness of the small town. We I stayed like in the city for a few days. We lived in Nashville for... 45 days. 40-something days, anyway. 40, yeah. About 40 days. Yeah, we didn't like it. Came home quickly. Oh, yeah. Very quickly. And the last one is number 14, what do I plan to do when the virus is over? Well. Not really anything different. No, not really. Our lives really hadn't changed since the Well, you'll be going back to home. work. I didn't go to work or. Going to church. I really miss going to the church. The online church ain't the same. Yeah. It just don't, it don't fit like actually going to a building and seeing all the other people. I guess one of the things I plan to do is I am looking forward to going to my mom's with my brothers and my sisters and their kids. Because we usually, at least once every couple months, Everybody all of together. us gets together. And there are like, what, 30 of us? Something like that. And we all get together and have dinner at my mom's. Now, that's one of the things I have really missed. Because we would have done that on Easter, and we didn't get to. Mother's Day is quickly approaching. Nathan, we usually do it then. Yeah. And I'm not sure if we're going to get to now. And Because my mom and dad are really trying to stay out of uh, crowds. We did go happen to see my parents, but we sat at our six-foot distance. <laughs> we sat outside. We didn't go in. But yeah. we just had to see them. Because um, they... That's about all I plan. I mean, life around here hadn't really changed that much. Other than us not getting up and going to work, that's about all that's really changed. Which we do go a little bit. We're still delivering meals and stuff. Yeah, no, we're doing the uh, Meals on Wheels where we drive the buses around and and deliver lunches to the kids. But other than that? That's about all we ever do. Yeah. I mean, it's still getting up. Now, we're going to have to get, we have to plan on. Getting up early. <laughs> you want to learn to get back up early again. Yeah. Been, We've been sleeping in at 5.30. Oh, yeah. 6 o'clock. We're going to get used to get back up at 4.30. We've but, taken long enough. We gotta oh, get, wait a minute. you got to tag people. we got to get to the tagging. Oh, we got to tag. We're going to have a long video here. Oh, tag. Who's right, in so first? Our first tag. Our first tag is homesteading the hard way. Uh, Chris and Darlene. You've been tagged. Uh, the second one, let's see. Samson Farms. Mm. Old Nathan at Samson Farms. Tag, you're it. Uh, the third one, let's make it Ernie Hatmaker. Oh yeah, I'd like to get to know more how Ernie would an answer those. <laughs> and the fourth one, how about striving for the simple life, Miss Tina. Oh, yeah, I'd love to hear her answers to these. You've been tagged. You're it. So, if you decide to do the tag, make the video about the 14 questions, put in the title like we did, so they're all titled the same pretty well, so we can find them. The 14 question challenge. Hope y'all enjoyed this.
We're looking forward to seeing other people's. Get to know people in the community. Yep. Have a great evening. God bless.